Whenever I interacted with Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway... Beast approaches. Oh, I know. must have. How did it even survive these past five years? I'm not gonna let this happen again. It dies today! I saw it. It's lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down! Stay alive! Grandma... Kaine, you gotta live! You gotta come back to us! Closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. 
Thank you. Kylie waking from her long petrified sleep. Meals unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devola and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us, and really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devola. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. <sighs> really, how can I blame Devola and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. <laughs>